When these bench-only lifters speak about their specialty, they make just as an impassioned argument for the bench-only meats as purists make for three-lift meats. You, know, you could be a, a doctor, you could be a maid, you know, you've lifted at least once in your life, either in, in high school or in whatever, everybody benches, and no matter where you go, everybody asks, where do you bench? So, why not focus on the bench? Powerlifters out there that think that being a specialist is, uh, is not powerlifting, um, you're wrong. You're basically wrong, and the bottom line is, I mean, I don't squat and deadlift because I don't want to. And the bottom line is, get under my weight, and you tell me if it's not powerlifting. It's this single lift mentality that drives Mendy to be the best at what he does. Only one man stands in Mendy's way to claim his crown as the best bencher ever. Gene Rijlak is the first man to ever bench over a thousand pounds. I'm the only guy to ever squat and bench a thousand. Um, it's the equivalent of basically the ass end of a car. Mendy and Gene have taken their rivalry to a level that powerlifting has never seen before. Everybody likes a good rivalry. I think that, you know, excitement is what, what it's all about. I don't do anything unless I love it. You know, I can't go into something half-assed. And right now, benching gets my juices going like nothing else. Gene, there's something different about Gene because Gene, um, you know, it's, it's, I'm not friends with Gene. I think it's pretty much one-sided. I truly believe I am the best in the world. Um, you can't compare him to, to me. People that think I'm the best bencher of all time, I think they're right. It's apples and oranges. I do things according to the rules. He does it the way he does it. Scott Mendelson the way it is. is the best uh, bencher to ever live on the planet Earth. That's the way it is. It's basically, so, he wants to be um, me. Gene, no disrespect, but sorry, bro.